YouTube used to be fun. It's not anymore. So I created this notebook to try to make YouTube fun again for myself. And here are the three things that I've learned from doing this. If you're anything like me, YouTube used to be fun. It used to be a hobby. It used to be something that you're passionate about. And maybe you're like me and just kind of fallen out of love with it. And for me, I think that has come with turning 30 years old. I, I feel like there's like the part of your brain that develops to turns you into an adult. It finally clicked on and all the content that I was seeing on YouTube just seemed really, I don't know, almost, almost naive and like just silly. And I just kind of sat there wondering, what am I even watching this for? Like, what's the point? Uh, there are tutorials and useful things on this app, but I kind of came to the point where I, I just wasn't valuing what I was watching. And most of the content creators that I followed for a long time and people have always watched every single week when they post, if they have that frequent of a schedule, I just wasn't really quite into them as much as I used to be. And it was honestly kind of sad because I realized I had lost this passion and love for this platform that I really wanted to be a part of. So number one, I made this notebook because doing Notion or doing something ultra highly productive that all the YouTubers talk about, like using a digital um, software to manage your time or thoughts was really helpful, but it kind of overcomplicated things. And I've been switching things to analog a lot more now. And this notebook has been my saving grace so far. Um, I've used it a couple times, just taking some notes off of some YouTube videos I was watching about YouTube, ironically, and about being a creator. And I kind of just realized there's lots of little things that I could take away from uh, for this podcast, for example, that I was watching, which was by Colin and Samir. Um, I really enjoyed it and it made me, I wanted to take it from a perspective of thinking about things as why did I fall out of love with YouTube and what am I going to do about it? Because I know it's still a desire and passion of mine. I can't see myself not making YouTube videos. And so um, I basically kind of use this book as therapy, if that makes sense. So I, I labeled this page uh, why I stopped and slash lost my motivation. And that comes to my first point. I made YouTube. I did. You might have done this as well. Uh, check yourself. Uh, I made YouTube not fun. I put such a high standard on every video I make that it has to look or sound or be a certain way, it has to be produced, uh, it has to have a lot of B-roll or something. And it would just add up like there are all these steps that I have to do to make a video, which is good, but there are a lot of people that just make videos on their phones and just post. And because of who they are, their storytelling, it just, it works. And um, I think I've just been thinking about too much. And there are times for making highly produced content on a passion project right as a filmmaker or something but i can't do that to every video every video cannot be perfect and putting that sort of level of stress on myself really was not a good idea and i started to slowly fall out of love with it because even if i had a good idea it meant that i had to do a lot of work which is fine but it kind of kept me and was a barrier to entry to make something and I realized the whole idea that I'm trying to get past here is the barrier of entry should be very low. I should be able to jump into an idea, do it start to finish relatively quickly because I know my motivation to make that video, it might die out pretty soon. And the longer that I take to make that video, the more perfectionism is going to slip in, unmotivated I'm going to be it's just gonna pile on and become such a chore to make the video and it's almost a good thing to have limitations to just film it really quick edit it and post it right um, and that's not always the case for every video but if that helps you um, if you're like me you're perfectionist and you feel like making YouTube videos is not fun anymore I would try to look at yourself and your process and how can you simplify it how can you pull things back to make the barrier of entry a lot simpler and more clean and i think that will help you a lot in making more videos um like this video i am trying to just film it i didn't even script anything aside from i tried filming this video for a few minutes just before this and decided to hit, hit re-record because my thoughts were just not consist consistent right now um but now they're a little more clear because i talked it out and realized oh i can make this a lot simpler so simplify your process and make the level barrier to entry a lot easier and things will be easier. Number two, 
I think with YouTube videos, this is something I got from the Colin Samir podcast episode um, that is entitled 13 Years of YouTube Knowledge in 46 Minutes, which I highly recommend giving it a watch if you're interested in this kind of content. And one of the things they've talked about is letting your hobbies and interests become your content. YouTube is a medium, like an art form that allows you um, almost like a passport to do something different or interesting that you're curious about, uh, to explore topics, to explore art and other sorts of experiments that you normally would not ever do if you didn't have a camera in your face, right? Um, it's a little bit meta, but I think filming YouTube videos is a really cool vessel to be able to experience life a little bit more so than other people uh, in the way that you get to explore the world and try new and different things because you want to make a YouTube video about it. It kind of gives you a really good excuse um, to do something rather than just say, ah, I'm never going to try that. Well, YouTube kind of provides a way to do anything you want in life. So I think thinking about YouTube as a means to assist you in your goals and your hobbies is a good thing. I am a digital artist and I also like to do, I'm a filmmaker, I make wedding films and I also do wedding photography. And honestly, YouTube is enticing because it does provide me another extra level of motivation to keep pursuing these things because I would love to share it with people. I would love to learn something for myself and come back and make a YouTube video about it and share my knowledge. And so I think YouTube can be a lot more fun if we view it less YouTube first and more you first because YouTube is literally you. Uh, it's not the platform plus you, it's you plus the platform. The platform is a means to your end. Uh, it's not a means to your end, if that makes sense. So use YouTube to help you with your goals, not to crush you. <laughs> and number three, um, I think YouTube became not fun anymore uh, as a viewer because you can only spend so long watching others live and do things that you wish you could do. And you, you can only do that for so long before you're like, why am I not doing those things? There's a cool Casey Neistat quote. Basically, in summary, it talks about the only thing that's between you and the dreams and the hopes that you have for your life is doing it. So it, it is action. There's also like a Bible verse about it, about faith without works is dead. So if you keep having dreams and you're not doing anything, anything about it, well, that's why you're so sad and upset is because you're not doing anything to make things happen. Um, and so for me, that is something I am trying to focus on. So YouTube can be fun again. I, I think I think that's a fair assumption that I can make at this point, even though I'm still trying to regain my love for YouTube again. I think it can be fun if we stop trying to feel like we have to fit into a formula, into the algorithm. Because after all, people always talk about the algorithm. I've gained like 30,000 followers on TikTok. I know the game. I get the algorithm. People talk about it all the time in all the tutorial videos on how to get viral on social media. But the problem is the algorithm is based off of people. So if someone's interested in something, they'll watch it. The algorithm's just picking up on what people do. The algorithm is not like the god of social media to decide who goes viral and who doesn't. It just pushes content to where it's desired. If people like watching a lot of videos like this, then hopefully it'll get pushed to other people that are like me, that think about YouTube and want to make it fun again. That's cool. But it doesn't decide that, yes, this video is going to go viral. It may decide to flop and be like, a, you know, 10 views or something. And that's okay. I want to use this platform for fun, to share what I know, um, to do stuff that is fun that I otherwise not might not otherwise do if I didn't have a YouTube channel. And it can be fun. And the platform doesn't own me. I post my videos to it. And so do you. And I hope that this helped you. These are just some of my thoughts about YouTube. And I would love to hear yours. Put them in the comments below. And we can have a cool discussion down there. Um, you know, what makes YouTube interesting to you? Why do you want to pursue it? Um, have you done it in the past? Maybe quit? Um, are you still trying to pursue it and just am ta are taking a break? Um, or maybe you're in the middle of making content and it just doesn't feel the same anymore. Um, I don't want to burn out as a creator. I want to do things the right way. That's kind of how my personality is. I want to do it the right way the first time. I do my research, I figure it out, and then I do it as best as I can. 
It's a little bit of a perfectionist problem, but I think it does help me in a lot of different ways. Um, and as far as YouTube, I'm kind of glad that I haven't gotten monetized yet because I'm still figuring out my motivation and my direction in life and on this channel. And I think it's a good thing. It gives me more time to cook, so to speak. And uh, I hope you see it that way too. And if this helped you, give it a like, um, consider subscribing, and you'll see maybe more content like this or something a little different. I'm a person. It depends what kind of videos I end up deciding to make. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.